He's cast as the nation's least liked banker, but Philip Lowe proclaims to be the people's friend. Reserve Bank Governor Phil Lowe has been dragged out in front of a Senate Estimates Committee. He's somehow drawn the anger of the public as we now have to deal with higher interest rates and inflation. We're here to help people keep their savings safe, low inflation, get them jobs. But he's in a hard position succinctly put in this clip. High inflation hurts a lot and getting it down hurts even more. The situation we're in now is a result of incredibly low interest rates and previously inconceivable amounts of government stimulus. He was also asked about interest rates on deposits. Recently big banks have been coming out and announcing all sorts of record profits despite being very slow to raise their interest rates on deposits but being very quick to raise them on their home loans. Having told a Senate committee that having strong resilient banks was good, a clarification. I'm not cheering and excusing the high level of profits. And joining criticism of the banks for not passing rate rises onto savings accounts, telling customers to vote with their feet. If you're unhappy with the interest rate your bank is paying, go to another one. He raises a fair point here because the fact is Australians are lazy and the banks know it. I can tell you the average Aussie will save two and a half grand a year just by switching their home loan over. He also went on to address the housing issue when questioned and said it's not interest rates that affect rent, it's supply. It's not interest rates that are driving rent, it's supply. Okay, let's address the rental crisis. This is not going to be an easy fix. Over a long period of time, businesses in all industries, including construction, is had to deal with the increasing costs of red tape, the costs of more workers' rights, and a whole myriad of other expenses that haven't stopped increasing. Added to this, we've got this outdated system where government has increased the demand for property without increasing the supply. At the end of the day, there's a higher cost for housing and the poorest are paying the highest price. The very fact that a parliamentary committee is asking the head of a central bank about rental shortages is a great example of politicians not actually understanding that the parliament and not the central bank are mainly responsible for the housing mess that we find ourselves in. This is just an opinion guys, but we're not over the worst of things economically. Unfortunately, there must be more pain inflicted on the economy. After nine interest rate rises in a row, why would the Reserve Bank change their stance now?